With the Salesforce Extension app, you can seamlessly integrate Salesforce data into your DocuSign Maestro workflows to customize and automate end-to-end -end agreement processes. The Salesforce Extension app allows you to transfer data to and from Salesforce at any point in the agreement process and store workflow files in Salesforce. In this video, we'll create a new workflow to automatically update a Salesforce contact record phone number. A customer can initiate the workflow by clicking a link on a customer portal and completing a web form. The email address they provide will be used to locate the existing contact record in Salesforce. Then, the customer will fill in another web form to review their existing details and provide their new phone number. They'll sign an envelope to authorize the change and will be redirected to a confirmation screen after signing. Their number will be automatically updated and the signed document will be stored in their contact record in Salesforce. Let's take a look at how to configure this workflow. First, navigate to the DocuSign App Center to install the app. Then, log in using your DocuSign account credentials. Locate the Salesforce Extension app and click Install App. Click Continue to install and authorize the application. Then, click Connect Account, select your Salesforce connection, choose if other users on the account should be able to use the connection, provide a name for your connection, and log into your Salesforce account. Click Manage Connections if you need to connect to multiple Salesforce environments. To use the Extension app, click the Agreements tab, and then Maestro Workflows. You can edit an existing workflow or create a new one. You can even use a workflow template with predefined steps to get started quickly. In this case, we will create a new Maestro workflow. Choose how the workflow will start. We select from a link and we'll add the link to our customer portal. Then add and configure the workflow steps. Add collect data with web forms as the first step. You can rename the workflow step to help you identify the different steps in the workflow. Select the web form that will be used to collect the recipient name and email and add a workflow participant called customer. Then add a read from Salesforce step to read the contact information from a Salesforce record. Choose the Salesforce object you will read from and select the fields you want to read and save as workflow variables. Then, create a rule to specify which record you are reading from. You can use the email variable from the web form to match with the correct Salesforce contact record. Add another collect data with web form step to prompt the customer to review their current account details and enter their new phone number. Choose a web form and select a participant. You can map the data fields from the web form using data from the first web form and the read data from the Salesforce step. Add an update participant information step and use workflow variables from the first web form to specify the customer's name and email address. Then add a get signature step to prompt the customer to authorize the change with a signature. Select a DocuSign template, choose the envelope recipient, and use workflow variables to pre-fill the DocuSign fields for the recipient. You can also add a branching rule and two confirmation screen steps so that if the recipient declines to sign, they are redirected to a screen indicating their phone number was not updated and the workflow stops. If they complete signing, they are redirected to a confirmation screen and the workflow continues. Then, Add a write back to Salesforce step to update the phone number on the contact record. Select the Salesforce object you want to write to and select the correct Write Settings. Then select the field you are writing to and add a rule to choose which record you are writing to. Finally, add a Store Files in Salesforce step to store the signed document in the Salesforce contact record. Select a workflow file and choose where to save it. You can use the contact ID variable saved in a previous step to identify the correct contact record. Use text in a variable to include the recipient's name and the document name. You can also add and configure more steps if needed. 
For example, you could add a step to verify the customer's identity for additional security. Then click Review and Publish and update the workflow name. Click Authorize My Account and then Publish. The workflow is now ready to be used. Thank you.